Okay, so I'm gonna teach you how to tie a load releasable knot, which is called the Munter hitch. The Munter mule knot is the combination. To tie that, we're just simply gonna put a carabiner on our master pointer or wherever that may be and just lay the rope through it. Um, if we grab one strand of the rope, it doesn't matter which one, and we create a loop by twisting upwards. So we could, the right side we twist up here. And then if we twist one more time and clip that loop into the carabiner, we have a munter hitch. Lock our carabiner. And we'll put our load on it now. And there's our munter hitch, okay? The munter hitch can be used um, as a belay hitch. If you forgot your belay device, you can belay directly off the anchor by pulling the rope in here. You'll notice one thing is that when the loaded end gets weighted, the knot inverts on itself. It just forms the same exact knot on the opposite side of the carabiner. Now as I pull down on the brake strand here, you'll see it'll invert again. The brake, you just simply hold the rope down in the same position. Now to tie it off with the mule knot combination, you want to make sure that the strand that's loaded, the munter hitch inverts itself to the loaded orientation. And then you're going to take the brake strand here and you're going to flip that same little twist up again. And you're going to put it parallel to the loaded strand and you're going to pull the rope behind and tuck a bite through that loop that you just created with that twist. Pull up some slack. Tie an overhand bite, overhand knot right around the rope here. Now it's locked off.